down his path that he took, uh, which means that Dean probably wouldn't have been too exposed to the things that he was exposed to as a young, chi as a young child and then grown up in that life. So uh, I kind of feel like if Mary hadn't died, then yeah, I'm not sure Dean would, would be a hunter. Um, if Mary had uh, a little lamb, <laughs> whose fleece was white. Like snow? Like snow. Like snow. <laughs> and let's say whichever way Mary went, the lamb was. <laughs> no, what is that? It's like air floating. No, it's 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 a spider web. What what's a spider web doing up here? <laughs> Don't you need to explain that to you? No, it's okay. 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 Um So, anyway, <laughs> Dean would probably not be a, uh, a, a ghost, demon, vampire, ghoul. With Digo Hunter, he would probably be just hunting other things, like the ladies. <laughs> Whereas Dean and Gilmore Girls would probably be a, uh, I don't know, a librarian. A barista. Uh, yeah, he's a truckload of fun, that guy. <laughs> yeah, it was a different experience for you, huh? I hated it. It's weird. Uh, but not only for the sense that it just, it was difficult for... <laughs> Guys, guys, 
who am I? Yeah, 
Yes, they're people! There are a lot of people out there. Uh, hi, guys. I have to get into like an athletic stance when I'm about to sneeze. I was like, That would have been such a nice time for the screen to stop. Thank you. Sorry. She's like, you didn't even almost go to my question. Um, my question is for both of you. After playing these characters for most of your adult lives, do you think you'll have any kind of separation anxiety from them when you're done? Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm serious, actually. Yeah. I, I know it's kind of a, a question in jest, but he and I have talked about um, when the show is all done. Uh... We don't know when that is. We don't know when that is. I mean, we do, but we're just not going to tell But suffice it to say, <laughs> suffice it to say, we're probably not going to go into it. Yeah. Thirty minutes. <laughs> it's pretty funny to watch. Actually. No, it's not. It's stupid. <laughs> We're probably going to go another 12 years. I will. I, I like Sam a lot. Uh, and I think he and I have both been really lucky and blessed in our lives. Uh, we, have, we have wives and kids that we love and other family and friends that we love. And, uh, this business has been very good to us. Um, so at this point in time, we're, we're, we're kind of... I think I can kind of speak for us both. We're, we're kind of doing it because we really care about the characters, their journey, their legacy. Um, their we still genuinely enjoy telling a story. Yeah. Uh, we still have fun with it, and I think that's, if that ever runs out, then that's probably time to hang it up. But so far, 12 years in, we're still, we're still enjoying the hell out of it, so. Didn't somebody work it out? Didn't Jules work out or something? Like that we put on it, or that is actually on the actual car that we drive. Either way. Uh, well, I, I, I can answer both of those. I don't know. <laughs> it's not the answer. I got it. I got it. I got it. I don't know. No clue. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I got this one. We. I don't know. <laughs> we we have put a new engine into uh, into the the number one hero car. So, uh, and there's a lot of parts that have been, uh, that have been replaced and, and updated and stuff, so um, it's, it's certainly not an original. Uh, and I, I don't know how many times it's clicked over. Uh, yeah, because it's, it's, back in the day there was, there was only five, uh, five digitals. Yeah. yeah. So, it could be like 50,000, right it could it's be 150,000. Right now it's like 76,000 or something. So whether that's 176, it's 276, I don't know. What? Yeah, but we didn't call last. You want to ask him? <laughs> Action. Three miles in the car. Cut. Sorry. So he's back. Um, he knows. Yeah. We, we did go to Jack Daniels yesterday, which is a lot of fun. So we had a good to it. How funny is it? Dry County. So uh, that was a, it was a fun. Um, I mean, it's a, for those who haven't been, it's an hour and a half, two hours outside of Nashville, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful drive. It, it, it's it's fun to being a Texan and filming in Vancouver, which is a pretty big city. Uh, you lose track of kind of the the, uh, the rustic kind of more rural areas, uh, which I loved, because growing up, whenever we went on a trip, we'd drive. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. It was like one of the, it's like the small things that make a big difference, right? Uh, but seeing old uh, homesteads and farms and some cows, some hay, 
Hey! Hey! I have a Every really, I have a, I have a saw hand. It's a bad habit. Yeah. Hey! And Cliff's like, what? I'm like, hey, it's just, it's just hey. It's one of my favorite things to do. And then, um, at Jack Daniels, they, they were, they said the word bumhole a lot. Which made me laugh out loud every single time. And we were on tour with probably 20 other people, and they all looked at me like, What's And when he starts laughing that uncontrollably, it tickles me. And I, I then start laughing. And then, and then now he sees me laughing, which makes him laugh it's even like, more. It's like, and the fact that he's now in hysterics, then I, I start, and then we start feeding off of the laughter. And before you know it, our tour guide is like, gentlemen, I, I know, what's, what's, you? what's the problem? And our only answer was, you said, said bunghole. <laughs> and now we're like, we're in tears. We're laughing. Luckily, we're, we're standing in the back because that's where we belong. Uh, and, and, then, and it didn't just stop there because then it was our mission to try to get him to say it again. Which he did, which then it all, all happened again. And this poor guy, he's like a retired math teacher, so you can imagine how impressed he was. So stupid. I almost can't even bring myself to say it. Scared of sharks? Well, I have good news for you. <laughs> you live in Austin. <laughs> yes. That's bears awesome. run rampant. Yeah. A lot of bears in Austin. What are you scared of? Me? I don't like spiders. Big or small, I don't like any of them. Spiders? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Is that like a spider? I just can't do them. I don't, I don't care. You know? What about cockroaches? Well, hell, I don't like them either. I'd rather see one of them. You'd rather see one of them? I'd rather see a cockroach, yeah. On TV? I, I thought we were talking about in person. Well, in real life, you think a spider? Yeah, definitely. Amen. You ain't seen me no suckers. What about snakes? Them neither, but I, you don't see them in the Spiders live in your home. So, wait, not them neither? <laughs> what about bungholes?
the bears, the bears, the bears, the bulls. Give me another one, uh, all day long, all day long, another. Minnesota. Oh, well, then they're uh, the wild, Minnesota wild. Don't you know they play hockey? Fun. We go ice fishing in the winter. Australia. Australia. Good day, mate. <laughs> Let's put another shrimp on the body. That's not. Uh, okay, so my um, last one. Last one. Mean. Last one. Mean. She says mean. Scottish. Oh, I wish Ruth was here. <laughs> They're bad, clean, delicious. Get her something from he's, backstage. I'm bleeding. He's got the blood. Something happened backstage. I wasn't gonna tell you, but. Uh, I'm jacking off. <laughs> what in the world happened? I'll tell you later. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Look at that. Boom. Yeah. Band aid. On the spot. Thank you. I'm sure that had nothing to do with your question. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. It's good talking to you. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> The only way you can do an accent is just by impersonating an actor doing that accent in the movie. How often do y'all try to do accents? Or, or, or a serial commercial. <laughs> For the wrong country. That's not even the right accent. In fact, not even the same country. <laughs> uh, I, I find myself... Um, I'll admit, I'm not the best at accents. And I find that my version of an accent is just basically saying where I'm from. <laughs> Do New York. Okay, well, I'm in New York. And I, uh, Chicago. Oh, go Bulls. Like, it's not even an accent. It's, it's just saying, like, where you're from. Oh, I'm sorry, people. I apologize for those who waited for this. Uh, you probably would have done better waiting for the at the biscuit place this morning down yes. there. Um, however, we should probably try to need the rest of Here? Hi. Hi, my name's Madison, and I was wondering why have you only used Christo once if it's the easiest way to find if the person's a demon? Why we only use what? Christo. Oh. Could you use Man, it that's going back. Yeah, you used it one episode in that airplane <laughs> episode. Uh, and Phantom Traveler. When Dean's walking down the aisle, he's going Christo. Christo. Hoping that that would, you know what? It didn't work. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, yeah, it did. Not as well as I wanted it to. <laughs> it's. That was a long time ago. Yes, yeah, what? twenty seven. <laughs> Bum hurt. Because I binge watched the end of all 11 seasons. Ah, right. Fresh on the brain. Um, that was 12 years ago for us. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know why. That I, I, I think they wanted to make it a little harder to figure that out. Uh, granted, now these guys would probably just know from the smell. Um, but uh, I think... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was still, I was still thinking about bunghole. <laughs> you said they'll know from the smell. It's amazing. Bunghole, bunghole, bunghole. Um, I, 
I'd have to ask Eric Kripke that. Tweet him. See what he says. Oh, I've tweeted him multiple times, and he's nope. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's busy with other things, but it's okay. He's a pretty busy guy. Um, well, if I can remember, I'll uh, I'll ask him that question because well, that is a good you. question. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Mason. Thank you. Thanks, Mason. Thank you. Good day. Madison, Wisconsin. Go. Oh, cheese. I like cheese. Man. <laughs> what you got there, Arby's? <laughs> Arby's? <laughs> oh, what you got there, Arby's? <laughs> Arby's? <laughs> Fargo. Let's go watch Fargo. In Wisconsin. The cheese. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Katie, and I actually. Katie, two Katies. <laughs> I'm now actually... you're just making stuff up. <laughs> I broke my, I broke the rubber band that goes around the mics. Oh. Have you ever seen? <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. It didn't do it by itself. I was asking. <laughs> it was just an accident. That's okay. Um, I'm actually from Loretta. Where Maker's Mark is made, and I was wondering—I was wondering if you guys had ever been out there to the distillery, or if you all had been on the Bourbon Trail. You uh, where in Kentucky? Loretto, Kentucky. Loretto, Kentucky. Go. <laughs> I'd like to. Apparently, there's good whiskey there. Uh, uh, my uh, my. My father-in-law and mother-in-law were just just at the Bourbon Trail this past uh, summer, and highly recommended it. So I, I, I hope to do it soon. I have not. Very amazing. Thanks, Katie. Hey, Random. Hi. Hey, my name is Emma. Katie. Emma. <laughs> um, this question is mainly for Jensen. All right. <laughs> I'll still listen. Can you tell us a little bit more about? Can you tell us a little more about the family business beer company and how this supernatural family impacted the name of it? Um, sure. Uh, give me a quick rundown. We, my brother-in-law uh, Gino, um, when we were living in California, we started making. Uh, actually, little fun fact for you. Uh, you guys know the show. Uh, this is us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a good friend of ours, Justin Hartley, is on that show. So Justin used to uh, used to be I don't uh, I don't think he does much anymore, but he used to be a pretty big home brewer, uh, and he had a nice setup. And uh, unfortunately, he was going through um, his. What the hell did you get that? I brought it up here with me. He was, uh, he was downsizing and he had this big, this pilot brew kettle system uh, that he didn't have a place for and he asked me if I wanted to, to have it and use it, play with it, and I was like, hell yeah. So we got his, uh, his little pilot system and Gino and I kind of got into it, started making our home, home brews and that was about a couple of years uh, in California that we moved to uh, Austin. Um, I told Gino, I was like, hey, what do you think about opening up a little brewery? And he's like, done. Sold his stuff, got out of California, moved to Austin with us. And uh, not with us, he's got his own place. <laughs> uh, and, um, and we started, we were just going to start off small and get like a little warehouse somewhere. And the more we kind of looked into it, uh, we realized that buying the property and building our own place would be more beneficial. And so we are doing that. Uh, the building's going up right now. Uh, we should, we get all of our stainless steel and tanks and stuff at the end of next month. We should be hopefully open for business this summer. Um, and we've got some other people that know a lot more about beer and brewing too. They're now on board helping us do this. Uh, and it's, uh, I'm pretty proud of it. And as far as the family, the business name goes, uh, the only people involved uh, kind of the ownership side is family. Um, my father-in-law, and Gino and myself, and then of course uh, my wife and mother-in-law, they're, they're involved as well. And so it's all family, so we didn't have a name for it, so we just kept kind of referring it to 
as the family business when we were trying to, we were applying for all our permits and our licenses and stuff like that. And I thought it was just kind of funny. I was like, family business. Oh, that has a nice little, that has a nice ring to it. And never thinking it would be available because it's kind of a vague description of what a what something is. And we we looked it up and trademarked it and got got approved. And I thought it was a I thought it was a nice little homage to all of these people that have made something like this possible for, for me to do. So that's that's the influence. Thank you. So in the episode, Imaginary Friend, it was said that imaginary friends are only with you as long as you need them. So one of my friends was wondering what if Sam had died in the pilot and has ever since been Dean's imaginary friend, because Dean still needs him. Oh! Wait, your imaginary friend wanted you to ask this? Unfortunately, she's quite real. Gotcha, okay. And what was the second half of that? Um, what if Sam had actually died in the pilot episode of Supernatural and had been Dean's imaginary friend ever since? Well, he wouldn't have been an imaginary friend because he would have existed at some point. So I believe an imaginary friend is something that you completely create on your own. Right? Um, haunted by Sam's ghost, maybe. <laughs> but a friendly ghost. Like Casper. Like Katie. Thank you. Good question. Ackles, you want to start that mess off? Sure, I'll take that one. <laughs> well, I'll take some. Uh, well... <laughs> hey, guys, keep it down. <laughs> you okay? I'm great. I'm great, thank you. Uh, I'm, first off, I don't believe there is an ideal. No. Aww. That was an applause line, but I never heard one. Secondly, uh, I, I, I'm not quite sure of the exact details uh, of, of how I wish it to go, um, but I, I do think that, in my opinion, it'd be nice if it was left slightly open for the movie that would come out two years later. But that, that's not the ending. <laughs> He's walking away, Jared. I, I feel <laughs> That's not the ending. <laughs> Sam, uh, I'm probably getting a lot of booze. B O S. An apostrophe. B O S E. But if you want to send booze, that's. Uh, the P.O. Box. I think Sam and Dean have to die. Booze. <laughs> Well, because, because that, that's, for me, if, if they're still alive, they're hunting, right? So, I feel like if they're alive, then it's not really saying you want to end it to go to a movie. It's not really ending it. It's just continuing it, Ackles. Yeah, with a big vacation in the middle. <laughs> so, I feel, like, I feel like if Sam and Dean Winchester are alive, they're hunting. 
So I think the only way I die of old age. <laughs> We're getting there. That's one way to go. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully we don't, um, hopefully we don't get there for a long, long time. If you guys keep on supporting us the way you have been. <laughs>